Okay, well, it's greetings from the garage again. And, um, yeah, it's Saturday about noon. And, yeah, <laughs> trying to get the place cleaned up still. Um, I've had a bit of a rough week. Um, I started taking amoxicillin uh, over last weekend. And I had a pretty bad reaction to it. Uh, and within a couple days um, I couldn't put two coherent thoughts together uh, and I was I had been developing rashes on my arms and uh, had this absolutely unreal headache uh, and stomach ache so I stopped taking it and uh, waking up yesterday morning was like the first time I have felt even remotely human all week so I think I'm on the mend there uh, and yesterday, late afternoon, I went to the dentist and I got a piece of good news, uh, which is that I'm not going to be uh, losing any teeth yet. Um, the dentist said that they don't have to pull any teeth right away um, because my teeth are actually in pretty good shape. Um, I, I have a moderate to slightly severe infection in my gums and I have to go for treatment for that. Uh, I do have one tooth that I might lose, but I'm not going to know for a little while because we're going to wait to see uh, if the gum around that area rebuilds itself or grows. Uh, what's happening is that the infection is uh, weakening the gum around the roots of my teeth. Even though the roots are in good shape, the gum around it is is pretty badly infected. So, yeah, next week I'm going to start treatment. Um, and... Uh, they say it's going to be two, three months or so uh, till, you know, I'll know if I'm going to lose this teeth for sure. Uh, in which case, they said it's just going to fall out. I'm like, all right. Uh, and, you know, I'll go ahead and get a dental implant at that point. But for now, it was just a huge relief to me because uh, I thought I was going to be losing at least four teeth because it just hurts so bad. Um, but... But luckily, yeah, I get to keep all my chompers for now. <laughs> um, but the big news for the week uh, is that last week, Zira was starting to do real well. Um, she was eating and playing with Zyka, uh, following her around. Uh, and Zyka was kind of being maternal in a couple of ways. And yeah, she was just having a bunch of fun and being all puppy-like. Uh, and I was really starting to enjoy and getting attached to the dog. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, I mean really out of nowhere, uh, Zira took a nosedive. Uh, within, I would say, about two hours, she became unresponsive. So um, I took her to a, a veterinary emergency room and where they told me pretty much uh, chances are she was going to die uh, because she had something called parvovirus. Um, now, those of you who don't know what parvovirus is, uh, it is a highly contagious, highly dangerous disease that afflicts mostly very young puppies with an underdeveloped immune system or very, very old dogs uh, with a compromised immune system. And primarily, uh, it afflicts German Shepherds, Rottweilers, and Boxers. And unfortunately, uh, Zira fit that mold. Um, the emergency vet told me that uh, Zira wasn't five months old, like I was told previously by my normal vet not four months old, but closer to three months old. And she was for sure German Shepherd and at least a mixed breed of at least one of the other two that is susceptible to this disease. Um, I thought she was gonna die. And uh, pretty much once we figured out that she had parvo, um, the vet uh, stuck an IV tube in her uh, and started feeding her uh, intravenously. 
and basically said, look, you got two choices. Um, you could put the dog to sleep because it's going to die anyway. Uh, or, you know, or I will attempt to treat the dog if you surrender her to me. And then I will put the dog up for adoption when she is well, if she recovers. And um, I inquired about the cost if I decided to keep Zira, and it was really expensive. Uh, and for about two minutes, I thought about doing it. Uh, I was going to raid my retirement fund uh, and just say, fuck it. And, uh, you know, get her well and take her home. But then I had a very, very important thought, which was, if, even if Zira were to recover, um, and there's no guarantee here, what Zira is going to need is undivided attention, because she's going to be a handful. She's going to be big, powerful, uh, and untrained as a puppy. And she's going to have to learn how to get along with other dogs, which I think she already does, uh, you know, and get uh, uh, get to know people, which I think she already does. And I can't give her undivided attention like that. Um, I already have three dogs, or I live with three dogs, you know, and uh, two other people that I have to take care of. And there's no way I'm going to be able to give her that. And what she needs is a real legitimate family. And uh, I realized the best thing for her was to find that family. So yeah, I gave her up. And uh, I've been keeping in touch with the vet. And, you know, Zira is improving very, very rapidly. And she'll be ready for adoption probably within the week. And uh, I'm really hoping she goes to a good family. Um, I realized I couldn't really do anything for her at that point. So yeah, that was kind of rough. But the other thing I had to do was, because she had parvovirus, um, there was a certain risk that parvovirus could spread to the other dogs here at the house. So I had to pretty much spray down every inch of this house, the property, uh, with bleach and something called performicide, which was specifically formulated to attack the uh, por uh, parvovirus. And even though the disease primarily afflicts those three breeds I mentioned before, and young puppies uh, and older dogs with, with uh, uh, less than working well immune systems, um, I have to take all three of the dogs here over to the vet uh, to get them tested to make sure um, <clears throat> they don't come down with it in the next seven, eight days. Uh, it takes that about that long uh, for the dogs to start first, sh first start showing signs. There we go. It came out of my mouth. So I'm going to be doing that. So yeah, um, it's been kind of rough. Anyways, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, my day gets better and better hour by hour. Uh, I'm going to start working on the Plymouth. Uh, my dad is gone. My brother um, uh, 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 picked them up, and they're on their way to my uncle's house uh, so they can have a chit-chat and chinwag. So I get some time to myself for a change. Um, I'm going to work on the Plymouth for a little bit and just kind of enjoy myself and just not think about anything, which is going to be real nice. Um, okay, I'll see everybody later. Until the next video.